Hello everyone, this is Michelle Capers here. We are just pulling up here at the Stewart Creek condos and we're going to show you this new condo that we have renovated. It is two bedrooms, two baths, a little over 1,100 square feet and it's now listed for $134,900. And if you are interested in this beautiful home, we're gonna take you through it uh, and show you the, some before pictures and then we're gonna show you the after pictures. But if you are interested, you wanna stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss any of the important information that we want to share with you about this beautiful condo and we're going to get at it right now. Now, if this is your first time to our channel, you want to go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to receive all of the current market information that we want to share with you about this great city. Now, my name is Michelle Capers again, and I'm the broker in charge of Moving Forward Real Estate. And believe it or not, we get calls and texts and emails from clients just like you on a daily basis looking to move to this great city. Now, whether you're a seller or a buyer or even an investor looking to move in 90 days or nine months, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email and all of our information will be in the description box below. We want to help you make a smooth move to the great city of Fayetteville, North Carolina, Cumberland County and the surrounding areas. Hey everyone, my name is Michelle Capers and we are here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. We're here at Stewart Creek Condos where this is gonna be our next project. So we wanna go ahead and take a look inside and show you this home before we do the renovations. It is two bedrooms and two baths and most, most of these um, apartments here, our condos here are two bedrooms and two baths, but let's go ahead and go inside and take a look at the before. So welcome to the unit you all. This is part two of this series. So as you can see, everything is original in this um, apartment. The, the floors has been torn up. There was um, renters in here previous. So everything in here is original. Like I said, the sub flooring is down. Um, the carpet was ruined. Uh, the walls are, are, as you can see, are blue. And um, so we're gonna go in here and put some LVP flooring in here. Um, uh, let's see, change up the wall colors, change up the doorknobs and of course, in this bathroom, needs some serious updating. As you can see, everything in this condo is original. We're going to change out everything, including the shower here, the stand-up shower. It is um, the original. We're going to change the fixtures and the shower head as well. Um, and this door right here, that's your linen closet. But we're going to change the shelves in there as well and kind of go through the house. And it pretty much is the same. It's two bedrooms, two baths. A uh, little over 1,100 square feet in here and uh, probably put a nice little uh, light fixture up there. See the ceilings. We're going to resurface the fit ceilings and all of that good stuff for you guys. So, so this condo, again, is going to be totally renovated, new, updated, um, all this in here in the bathroom. Uh, we're going to tile the walls and, of course, new sinks in here, new flooring, ceramic flooring. And this is the second bedroom in here, too. Just standard bedroom sizes, uh, new knobs on the doors. The doors pretty much is in good shape. And this room, this door here, leads you out to the patio, but uh, new walls and paint colors. This has a this uh, condo also has a lot of storage, so this is another closet right outside of the second um bedroom and then this is another like closet right beside it so you have shelves in here that you can put extra storage and this one over to the right is an open space but we're going to make that out of a pantry um, because there there isn't a pantry here so we're going to add some shelves in here but this uh, fireplace is going to be kind of up spruced up and lvp flooring throughout ceramic tiles in the bathroom new fixtures all this is going to be custom cabinetry here we're going to do butcher block countertops here in the kitchen and all new appliances they're going to be black we're going to keep them black um, but there's going to be a side by side as you can see that uh, refrigerator is just a standard but it's going to be a side by side so this one is going to be really nice for you all so now we are at phase three of the condo and we're going to go ahead and 
go inside in this unit you all these are the only steps that you um, need to take to get to your uh, unit to get to the condo so this is a bottom considered a bottom floor bottom level Voila, we got the red carpet here for you all and come on in and these nice soft uh, wall colors somewhere like it's around a sand color and um, we did some of the molding, refreshed the moldings, replaced the ones that needed to be replaced but LVP flooring throughout and it's like a chocolate, like a medium chocolate color. And as you can see, we also changed out the door knobs. They're not the silver ones. There we got changed them out to the long hand handled um, door knobs. So that kind of updated it too. This is your hall closet. We also stained the shelves in in these closets. The shelves are in excellent shape. So we just wanted to change up the color for them to you know just kind of match in the flow so this is the master bedroom or you know if you want to the primary bedroom and uh, again stain the shelves in here the fresh paint LVP flooring um, it just looks really beautiful and really crisp in here and clean um, so yeah this is beautiful this turned out so well and this is uh, as you can see plenty enough space for your clothing so nice size room you all love that red pillow over there just brings in a little color to this room give you some ideas uh, we changed out that put a nice light fixture here and as you can see these double windows in here brings in a lot of natural lighting you all so this room is plenty enough room and space for your queen size bed of course so we're going to whip this thing around and show you your primary ensuite and it is absolutely stunning. We have tiled this bathroom out, placed it with the double sinks in here and the new modern fixtures. This looks absolutely gorgeous, as you can see, totally different from the before. And the nice touch that we did and put the tile even around the, the tub, the sink in tub, it, it's just beautiful. And I love, again, the fixture, new toilet, and we're gonna whip it around here in a minute so you all can see the new shower and the shower head. Um, but again, staying those shelves, it just makes it look a little bit different in there with the wall coloring and changing those shelves to that dark, dark walnut. Um, added a uh, rack right there for your towel and that shower head, I absolutely love it. You all let me know what you think. Leave me some comments in the description box below. Let us know how we did. But check out this floor, you all. Look at this. this. These colors in here are just perfect. So I don't know if red is your color, but hey, if it is, it surely would flow. Whatever your decor is, um, your furniture, if you throw a little red splash in here with these colors, it just makes it pop. just giving you an all another view you got your double sinks in here we did as much as we could do with the space but this sinks you know this tub that sinks in beautiful everything works so perfect it's just clean that was a new mirror there as well so we're gonna head out to your left down the hall to um, the second bathroom but before we get there, there is the door to your right. If you remember, this is a extra storage uh, area. Put whatever you want to put in here. Got shelves in this closet. 
So whatever you need, you can change up the, uh, you know, change it out if you just want. If you want to rack in there, you can move, remove the shelves, but you have some storage space in there. And then if you remember, we're going to look at that closet again, but in a few. But there's a, an, another additional closet outside of the second room. But voila, we are here in your second bath, full bath, tiled all the way to the ceiling. Same type of shower head, kind of just tying in with the primary ensuite. This is beautiful. Here we go with this ceramic uh, tile flooring again. The colors is, is beautiful. Hopefully you guys have some ideas so when you get this unit, you can go ahead and put it together and add your touch. So here we are with your second um, bedroom. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and check this closet out. A great size closet. Again, staining these shelves, walnut color. But if you needed some extra uh, space for your clothes, you have a plenty enough room in this house. And here we are with this in the second bedroom. Good size. Also, a queen size will fit in here with no problem. Love all the natural lighting in this condo. It just brings in that 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 extra touch. It just makes you feel alive for me. I love lights because it just makes me feel like I want to get up. When I'm in a place where it's too dark, I want to stay in the bed. So here's the closet for the second bedroom. This is a great size closet as well. But like I said, if you didn't have enough room in here, right off of this room was that additional closet to add some more of your clothing, shoes, or whatever you, you know, have. And we're going to take a look outside this time. We didn't do that with the before, but we're going to go out this door and let you see your um, patio back here in the back. And it's pretty peaceful here, very quiet. Today was a very quiet day out here, and it's the grounds is pretty clean. They try to keep things up here in the Stewart Creek condos. Um, it's not perfect all the time, you know, as is with any complex, but um, for the most part, they do try to keep it pretty much clean and tidy. And that's your side sliding glass door that will lead into your living room. Here we are, just taking a good look at the grounds. And you know, all these units has been around for a while. There's a complex in the front that um, I don't know what happened, but there was a grease fire or some type of fire a few years ago. So they are in the process of rebuilding that actual unit. So that's in the front. This one, this particular unit is all the way in the back. So this is your pantry that we created. Remember, this was just an open space. So now we added some shelves here for your canned goods, your dry goods. And this is this room also has your um, panel box, your electric panel bo box here. But it is uh, plenty enough space for even extra things if you had. If you had a pet, maybe, you know, you want to put your dog food in here, extra space. But let us look at this beautiful open kitchen concept area this fireplace we blacked it out and stained that mantle it is beautiful we um we left the blinds up there but you know we're probably going to e either take them down or you all can take them down and we wanted to add uh, the curtains here to just modernize it made it look a little bit more update versus just the traditional you know um blind so and here we are again, just looking at you know, just the colors in here, the color scheme, that sand on the wall and the white uh, trim and molding just kind of makes that color pop and then just adding a hint of red or whatever your favorite color is. Um, again, take note to all these windows that's around here. It gives this condo the natural lighting that it needs. You can save on some energy and that is your laundry area. And we put some curtains there too, cause I like to have things tucked away so you're not, so it's not exposed. It, they did a lot with the floor plan here 
but let us put our washer and dryer here and close that up so that's not exposed to the kitchen but this is a beautiful kitchen all of these cabinets are custom they're wood actual wood cabinets here's your butcher block countertop i mean ugh, it is so beautiful and your subway tiling um, backsplash just love it and this sink this black sink and this the sink here uh, lights up and there's so much more that this uh, little sink does it disconnects from there so the sprayer so this is this is really beautiful and cute and it also has a, a disposal garbage garbage disposal as well but again you're back your subway tiling this unit did not have a microwave before but we added one to it so you have your microwave your refrigerator your range and you have a dishwasher in this unit just very nice good size great starter home great great investment most of these units here are about 60 to 70 percent in the stewart creek is investors so there's your hot water heater there and we're gonna go ahead and spin it around real slowly but we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video so you all again let us know what you think of this beauty what would you do with it would you live in here or would you purchase it as an investment property uh, it surely will run out with all of the military around here you would never have a problem with this uh, unit running out So we hope you enjoyed this tour of um, Stewart Creek condos. There's two bedrooms, two full baths, a little over 1,100 square feet. It is currently listed right now for $134,900. Go ahead and leave us some comments in the description box below. We would love to hear from you and let us know what you think about this condo. And also let us know what you're interested in, what's your price range, and what do you want to see more of? Do you like the condos or would you do you like more of single family homes? Are you looking into a town home and I think we've had a little bit of everything um, on this channel we showed you single family homes condos we showed you uh, town homes as well and of course depending on the community the four floor plans of the homes um, are different as well but let us know what you think we always want to hear from you and help you make a smooth move to the great city of Cumberland County and the surrounding areas Fayetteville we got Hope Mills Rayford Spring Lake and all of the surrounding cities just let us know whatever we can do to make this move a smooth move we are here for you and as always we are moving forward one home at a time and we will see you in the next video